Hello and welcome to future YouTube viewers to this video. My second video, actually no, my third video on Order Patriarchy. I think my second that's going up on YouTube. Anyway, this is this is like the third time I've covered him because um, since the first time I've covered him, I've just found more and more stuff to talk about. But today, we are going to be doing some contentception, okay? So we're going to be doing me watching someone else responding to me, and I'll explain in a bit more detail, okay? Now, some of you may remember um, I did a YouTube video, okay? Let's have a look. Who, who remembers the section I did, the segment I did about Lord of Patriarchy? Let's have a look. Good <laughs> look. I I was I was quite I was quite happy I was quite happy with this thumbnail. Okay. I was quite happy with this thumbnail. Look, complete disaster. Lord of Patriarch is the biggest disaster across the whole of anti SCW YouTube. I was quite happy with that. Okay. Now, basically, I'm I'm gonna okay. I need to own up to something. Okay. When I did the Lord of Patriarchy video, I wasn't taking the Lord of Patriarchy very seriously. Okay. And to be really upfront, to be really upfront, I perhaps didn't debunk his points in the best way that I could have done. If I'm being really honest, okay. Like I didn't take it as seriously as I might do like I don't know, like a Prager U video. I tend to tend to try a bit harder to like go through and knock back some of the points that they're saying, okay? But Lord of Patriarchy, I saw a dude sat there guzzling beer into his you know, filling up his gun in his backyard. And I thought, yeah, this dude isn't isn't to be taken seriously, so I just thought we'd mock him for a bit, okay? So in any case, I yeah, I didn't expect his hardcore facts and logic. And um, and the <laughs> and the th I see some things in chat, but I'm trying not to get distracted. We're doing tight YouTube clips, okay? But I will respond when I'm in my flow here. Um, so I didn't take him seriously. Now there's been some developments since that video came out, okay? Don't be sorry, it's okay. Don't worry. I like the memes. Keep them coming. There's been a development, which is as follows. Lord of Patriarchy found my video about him. Okay. He discovered that I made a hit piece on him. And it was a hit piece. Okay. Well, it could be by name searching or it could be that someone sent in the video. Okay. So, obviously... I've had a response before from Mr. Dapperton, okay? But me and Mr. Dapperton, we've spoken via DMs. Hey. Mug club. Two months, thank you very much for the... Uh, Two M-U-M-F-S-B-B. Two months, baby. You snitched. So in any case, he found out about it. So it might be that his fan sent it to him. Or alternatively, it might be that he named searched for himself on YouTube and found it, okay? Now, I'm not going to spoil the response for you I think the best thing we can do is just um, is just jump straight into it okay so let's go to his channel there he is <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> so look just in case you don't know who Lord of Patriarchy is I'm gonna play this quick 44 second video just so everyone's on the same page okay I played it last time but just so everyone knows Gavin, Gavin, do you Gavin. like to see angry beards comment on news stories of course you do do you like to see the same angry neckbeard smoke cigars and give rants about this topic or that of course you do would you also like to see some video commentaries from time to time of course you would and also let's not forget the cherry on the sunday games and beer a show where i play a game for a set amount of time and then do some video commentary for the rest of it all while answering any and all questions you may have if this sounds appealing there is a subscribe button right there go press it okay 
so as you can imagine, I saw this, and I'll be honest, I didn't think that this guy was like um, a warrior of um, logic, facts, and reason, okay? So I didn't go into the video, the segment, completely seriously, and I ended up in a position where, okay, look, one criticism you could make is perhaps I could have done a better job of kind of refuting the points he was making. I'll take that, I'll take that on board, okay? Now... When he found my video, what he decided to do, <laughs> okay, is respond to it on a live stream. And you can see here, okay, can we just play it from the start? No, let's just do this, look. Here we go. <clears throat> so as part of a live stream, he decided to respond to my video, okay? Now, there is a small problem. He was drinking quite heavily throughout the live stream. Now, can you see a problem arising from that combination? Doing a response video live and, and heavy drinking. Can you foresee any issues with that? <laughs> because I certainly can. I, I don't know. Apparently, he responded to all the clocks. Why is he called the clocks on the wall? It's to, see, it's to check what time he needs to release his videos compared to other time zones, right? The face when you're on out of Axe body spray, so he's raid instead. <laughs> Okay, so this is him at the start okay, of the stream. Got through a um, got through a um, oh, Jesus Christ, Gavin. Got Gavin, through a Patreon Gavin. request. I'm gonna Gavin. do it. son of a bitch. The rest tomorrow, and uh, hopefully everyone is with me. I'm going to uh, be. So that's just a very quick baseline, okay, of where we are at the start of the stream. Now I've prepared um two timestamps. One where he introduces the video, okay? Now, as I've said to you, the section where he talks about me um, responding to him is basically him just going off and not responding to his points, okay? Of course, I can I can link the full video, so if you want to subject yourself to it in the future, by all means, go ahead and check the video out, okay? Just, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I want to, I, I myself want to bring logic, facts and reasons to the table. I want to make sure that I'm not misrepresenting him, okay? <laughs> Now, if if I may, I'd just like to skip to the first timestamp where he introduces my video, okay? So bear with me a few moments. Here we go. Get ready. For Wednesday, but we may do it right here, right now, right now! Anyway, this is uh, Lord of Patriarchy is the biggest disaster across the whole anti-SJW YouTube. I really am? I'm the big one? Son of a bitch. Okay. So hello. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, true. Let's um <clears throat> There we go. Let's mix it up a bit, okay? Welcome to future YouTube viewers. Today uh, we're going to be watching a um, an absolute legend amongst the anti-SJW scene. Oh, now, they used to be called War Corps, but they changed their name, as you can see on screen. No, it was because a Listen. fat chick took my channel down. <laughs> that was the reason. So straight away, we're off to a good start. I'm saying that he changed his name, and he's saying, no, he did change his name, but it's because a fat girl took his channel. But I didn't say anything about that. I just said he changed his name, which is correct. Okay, I know it's going to be a bit confusing, but honestly, you've got to... <laughs> What's with the clocks? Look, I don't know about the clocks. Apparently, he responded to them in a video. Now, I'm going to fast forward. Now, this section is basically just him moulding about the fact that he didn't respond to his points properly. I mean, to be honest, the use of, I mean, look. To be fair, look at this absolute paragon of logic, facts, and reason. Maybe I should have taken him a bit more seriously. In any case, we're going to skip forward a little bit, okay? So bear with me a few moments. So if I uh, just do this. This is quite funny. This is the bit before, but look. I remember watching it when I was a kid, but it's been absolutely years. You've got to see this bit. I remember watching it when I was a No, but bullshit. Yeah. No, I did watch it. No, if anything, she was super because she could beat him in a fist fight. <laughs> 
sorry, despite your feminist professors, women cannot beat men in a fist fight. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go get some more beer. I'll be right back. And I'll deal with the rest of this jackass video. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, this isn't satire, I promise you. So now we're going to skip forward again, because it literally is just him going off to get some beer or something. I don't really know. Hang on a sec. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, you having trouble seeing him because of chat as well? Okay, let's move chat there for now. Okay, so look, we're going to skip forward a bit further. Now we're going to watch it from here. Now this is... Uh, this is this is this is where it gets good, okay? All right, let's deal with this. And you know, look, I don't normally encourage this. Listen. But and, and I'm not encouraging this. I'm just saying could some of you slide over to his video and say, "Hey, why don't you debate him on this list?" Because it's, I mean, he hasn't refuted a single point. Just not for nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's quite an extensive <laughs> okay. so, so listen, let me just explain before we watch the end of this and really get into like his reaction to me. Okay. Um, he did, in fact, send people over to my channel. Okay. <laughs> to try and get me to debate, debate him. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to see it, but at other points, he challenged me to a fight, and another point, he challenged me to a cook-off, okay? And I'm, I'm not memeing, I'm being deadly serious. He challenged me to a fight and a cook-off, okay? <laughs> That's the level that we're dealing with here. Um, we'll, we'll, Don't worry, we'll get to that bit, okay? I think we might see that in a minute. But look, here. Hey, Dave's willing to debate you on the privileged checklist video if you're up for it. Only way to solve this, this you and LOP debate. Lord of Patriarchy is happy to take you on. He's responding to you now. Go debate Lord of Patriarchy. Okay. So, so unironically, yes, he did send people to my channel to say debate me, debate me, debate me, debate me. Okay. Now, I responded here. And I said, if this is legit, tell him to DM me on Twitter, okay? And also, in the replies, look, I see you seem pretty triggered. Are you willing to take on Dave in a debate? Yeah, he just needs to DM me, okay? I also added him on Twitter and said, hey, if you want him to set something up, DM me. Do you, Now, let me ask you a question, chat. Do you think I've received a DM yet from Lord of Patri Patriarchy? What do you reckon? No, I have not. I've yet to receive any communication from him. Okay. So here's here's what I'd like you to do. Now you can help me with this. Okay. Now I'm just going to put his at in chat. I'm not suggesting. I'm not suggesting that you should do this. Okay. However, you know, I I know that previously. Previously, one way to get people to you know agree to a debate. Is um is if people kind of at them on Twitter, reply to their posts, uh, things like that, yeah? Like, I'm, I'm not saying you should do that, because that would be against terms of service, potentially, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, maybe, maybe it might be worth just tweeting and just asking him why he hasn't agreed to a debate with me yet, okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't brigade, don't hassle them. Debate me, 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 debate me. Thank you very much, um, Lord of Patriarchy, for the very generous um, ten dollar donation. It is very much appreciated. <laughs> I'm not sure if that is the real Lord of Patriarchy or not. I'll probably get an email in a sec. Oh God, sake. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your generosity, Lord of Patriarchy. It's much appreciated. <laughs> Okay, in any case, I just wanted to make it clear 
that out of the three options, the fight, the cook-off and the debate, I thought that things being as they are with social distancing, a debate is probably the most effective thing. However, he refused to talk to me. Well, he's not replied to me, should I say. In any case, perhaps we can find out why and perhaps we can get something up if we work together. That's all I'm saying. Capiche? Now let's watch the rest of this video because it starts to get, excuse me, it starts to get really good. First. I'm just surprised, you know, I mean, obviously this guy is Apparently like complete Chloe no effort, but I'm surprised he didn't put already. even the most um, <laughs> basic level of research into what... Okay, so this is interesting. This person, this Chloe person, I'll, I'll play it like this so you can just I'm do sorry, it. I'm sorry, Chloe, but... You might get okay, blocked. so that's Lord of Patriarchy's channel. It looks like he does like a lot of streams and doesn't really do that much pre-recorded content anymore. Um, I always have done raw content. If you would have known about War Corp 666, you would have known that I just fly off the hip. You would have fucking known that. But you didn't. Which is why I think you didn't know anything about me. But okay. Do you like to see? Um, I, I kind of want to know what's going on there. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like it's him reacted to stuff, kind of like someone else I know. Look, uh, like three quarters of YouTube. He's done another one here. <laughs> anyway, look, let's watch his cooking content, okay? Yeah, yeah, let's watch the cooking okay, show. Okay, I... let's watch the intro. <laughs> He has, this is a 35 minute video, he's 13 minutes left, in relation to my cooking videos. Okay. You spend a third of your video attempting to refute my points, attempting to make me a moron, and you spent the last third of it on cooking. Okay, boy, you better be ready, because this is actually shit I do know. Because this is not opinion, opinion based. This is factually based. Okay, let's go for it. He's <laughs> 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 He is figuratively and literally molding right now. Yeah, this is this is new. This is um future Chud. No, today now Chud. So yeah, he is literally and figuratively molding. Look at his face here. He's furious that I'm going after his cooking. Has, has that comment come up yet? I remember seeing the comment. Okay, look. Let me just let me just go through this quickly. So this person, like I've never heard of them before, never seen them on my channel, never seen them comment. But look, I'm blocked on Chudologic's channel. Lol, Dave, him and I were arguing about Anita Sarkeesian and he deleted the thread and blocked me. Now look, I'm going to ask chat. You know, you know, some people here watch my content, know my character and probably know how I engage with people in the YouTube comments. Now, do I sound like the kind of guy that would waste my time debating some dipshit about Anita Sarkeesian in my YouTube comments? Yes or no? Let me ask you that, okay? <laughs> no, it never happened. This person is a lot is lying. This person is just making this up. I literally, I, I don't even think I've said any. I don't think I've ever covered any Sarkeesia content on the stream. <laughs> Chloe's a little liar. So yeah, Chloe's a fibber. Exactly. I don't. I don't know why. I just thought that was like. That was quite a funny little um. That was quite a funny little angle to the whole escapade. One of his viewers lying to him about debating me about Anita Sarkeesian in my comment section when I've never even seen or heard of them before. I don't think I've blocked anyone from my YouTube comments. But anyway, I thought that was quite a funny little aside, okay? <laughs> yeah, wheezy little liar, yeah, you got it. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I believe that was Big ZD. Oh my God, oh! this is gonna be good.
Oh my god. <laughs> what? Well, I don't understand the, the the kiss there. What was that all about? Mm, me having fun. Um. Okay. Look, look. look I, 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 this is kind of contentception, and it's quite difficult for me to like respond because I'm responding to a response to a response. But I really wanted to watch it together on stream because the memes are just too good. So let's just keep watching and s just see what happens. Okay. It's I, honestly, it is top tier. Let's watch some of his cooking videos anyway and let's see what's going on, okay? Please rewind to him cutting his steak. Yeah, his steak looked a bit rough there. Like, maybe that's how he likes it, but... Yeah, that steak looks pretty rough. That looks like it... So I love spicy food, and uh, my favourite spicy food is... Hey, Lord of Patriarchy, thanks for the ad revenue. That, that you watching my video probably gave me a couple of cents. I much appreciate your support, okay? Is a special sauce from South Africa called Peri Peri. So the problem with spicy food is well done, I think. Um, I do not remember the tale of that steak. I don't cook my steak well done. So I, I'd have to, I'd have to be brought up in the episode or anything. But yeah, no, or was it a steak that um? I had save for another purpose. I think. Yeah, I think that's pretty burnt. Yeah, maybe it's a clickbait thing. I don't know. Does he eat vegetables? No, like a tree man. He just eats meat and pasta, I think. Yeah, it must... <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why, but... I'm... I'm... <laughs> I don't know why to laugh at my own joke, so that's quite funny. Be well done, right? Okay, let's um, let's watch this video. Chicken pesto pasta, okay? Oh, hello. Some graphics. <laughs> He's actually got an intro for it. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to Dave's. That was a bit show. weird. For you today, I have a creamy chicken pesto that we're going to put with a delicious bunch of penne. So, uh, first thing you want to do is get a pot of water and get it up to the boil. And wait, wait, wait. Is that oil and butter that he's putting in? Is that... Oh yeah. And in a, uh, yes! I just kind of use this kind of Dutch oven thing here. Um, it's a green cast iron pot. Uh, you want to add two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of butter. What?! Two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter. Yeah! For a pound of pasta, faggot! Do you know how much fat that is? That's so unhealthy. Over a pound of pasta! You stupid faggot! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'm using... In the UK, in the UK, you literally just put, like, a splash of olive oil in the pan before you... <laughs> yeah, 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 like... The molding, honestly, it gets, it gets, it, I don't know, maybe it stays on the same level, but you just make your own mind up. But honestly, the level of molding he reaches over this, over my criticism of his cooking is just chef's kiss. Start cooking. That's the normal way you do it. And you want to. Well, one of your best chefs, Marco Pierre White, dumped a half a fucking bottle of olive oil into a goddamn already boiling pot. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> Melt that up nice and easy it uh, shouldn't take very long again this is kind of an old school way that i used to Cunt shoot games. pizza episodes uh there is going to be another episode coming up very quickly where i shoot something a little bit uh different and then you want to add either two teaspoons of pre-crushed garlic or two cloves of minced garlic and then you want to add to that uh two boneless skinless chicken breasts that are cut up gee no where are the two tablespoons of olive oil and the two tablespoons of butter going could it be the fucking chicken? You stupid fuck! I've been to. <laughs> okay, look, look. Okay, yeah, yeah, use butter. It tastes better. I might use butter sometimes, you know. Any sort of fat you use to cook's fine, but that's seems excessive. But, like, to me, a cooking channel, right? I, I don't know. Maybe there is some room for, like, a very simple cooking channel, but, like, he's literally just put oil and butter in a pan and he's put chicken in and he's cooking the chicken. Like, this isn't particularly earth channel. Where's your ch cooking channel, bitch? Where's your cooking channel? Yes, we're at that level of criticism of me. Because I don't have a cooking channel, therefore I cannot criticise his cooking. Seriously, you want to go to war on it? Alright? Come on, where's your fucking spaghetti recipe? Where's your fucking, uh, tell you what, tell you what. How about this? Me, you, spaghetti recipe. <laughs> you put your best forward, I'll put my best forward. The fans will decide. You know, it's funny. You attack my... The fans will decide. The fans will decide. 
<laughs> Sorry, that's too good. <laughs> Your spaghetti, my spaghetti. May the fans, may the fans decide the winner. May the best man win. <laughs> Cookie channel, because it's the only channel I have that has fewer subscribers than your channel. Chattering to me, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, about inch pieces. Inch oh, how greasy it looks. I wasn't really that accurate with when I diced up the chicken. And then you want to uh, Look at the grease until the chicken's done and we'll be ready for the next step. Okie dokie, our chicken is cooked. And now it's time you want to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper to your personal No, the chicken is coming but keep now. Keep in mind, there's going to be some ingredients that are going to be quite salty, so maybe go easy on the salt. Uh, the one thing I will say is, do not drain that lovely stock that we have made of the butter, the oil, and of course. The <laughs> he thinks the butter and the oil is a stock. It's just literally like a pot of grease. <laughs> no, it's a stock, faggot. Okay, tell you what. Do my recipe, but dumb that shit down the drain. I won't. We'll see which one beats. We'll see which one wins. <laughs> Look how white that chicken is. And you want to add a quarter cup of pesto, a cup and a quarter of heavy <gasps> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I've already been through it in the original video, but he literally thinks that, like, putting butter and oil is <laughs> a stop. Oh my god, he's put heavy cream in as well. This is so bad for you. Oh my god. Why do I think you can't even microwave a hot pocket properly? You know what? I've done enough. Oh my god. Just Jesus fucking Christ. All right, what if He's feeling hurt because uh, as a professional chef... Uh, you know, a professional chef having their food critiques is one of the most painful experiences in the world, right? What else does he have on me? What, I made an Alfredo sauce? And you basically just want to turn that around and let that reduce a little bit. I'd say by about eh, 10 to 15%, or until the sauce is to the thickness that you like. It takes about oh, 10 minutes or so. Just keep an eye on it, stir occasionally, and when it's the thickness. He's literally like just got butter, oil, and cream, and some herbs. I made a fucking Alfredo sauce from scratch, faggot! Oh, the, for some reason, the. the are, you, are you typing stuff as well? <laughs> Sorry, Bubble Boy. <laughs> Where's your cooking channel, bitch? <laughs> I'm really sorry, I don't, know, I don't know why that didn't work. It doesn't make any sense. It worked absolutely fine before. Yeah, sorry, everyone. Maybe I should have said, but he does continue to use uh, some pretty significant slurs. Um, so, I mean, I'm sorry for that, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. And that's his sauce. What do you think is in spaghetti sauce, you stupid son of a bitch? We'll be ready for the next step. Okay, the sauce is at the thickness that I happen to like. Now is the final touch. About three to four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> oh, this grated. is grotesque. Even um... There is no fat in Parmesan cheese, that's why it's dry. Better measure the fucker. <laughs> and then, uh, let this incorporate for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's expecting to happen here, but, like, there's literally just so much... It's, that is... That... That, <laughs> that pot is just so dense, okay? <laughs> that pot is seriously dense. This is me, future Chud. Today, Chud speaking. But, yeah. A couple of minutes... And then we'll be ready to add our penne pasta. Okay. Look, and... That looks like a complete mess. Let's be real for a second here. When will Masterclass hire him? Yeah, exactly. Mmm, <laughs> looks delicious. Can't wait to tuck into this. Parmesan cheese is that a chance to melt. Now... Mm. If, I, if any of your followers add it, they'd love me. Add about eight ounces of cooked penne pasta. And the only thing I have for here is, uh, again, on the package directions of your penne pasta... Uh, make sure you take off a minute because this is where the final minute of cooking for the pasta is going to take place. All right, we're ready to serve this son of a bitch up. What the hell? Okay, let's serve. Why has he got? Why has he got all these weird in interjections of like weird, vaguely pornographic things? What is going on there? It's a joke. Oh wait, you're a leftist faggot. You don't get jokes. Stop. And basically, yep. The left, the left can't mean the left don't understand jokes. Although get absolutely molding. 
and calling me like a faggot again and again and again. That's the height of comedy, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to use two scoops, but... You Look how greasy it is! With how big your appetite is. And this is uh, optional, yes, I am train guy. I'm going to uh, be posting very, 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 very pepper soon. On the top. And, of course, we need a little bit more Parmesan cheese on this. And that's it. Creamy chicken pesto. <laughs> That is the that is the most grotesque pasta dish I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even. Uh, I'm not. Mm. Try it. Try it. Tastes great, bitch. Not even memeing on that. That was absolutely grotesque. Okay, let's watch one more anyway. Let's watch one more. Um, what have we got? What's this? What's this? What do we want to watch? Surprised you didn't go for the VDSNM sub. Let's not do that. <laughs> Due to personal, I'm social distancing from this guy permanently. Yeah, you're right to be disgusted. Like, you know, I, I, my, I, my, what I eat is very straightforward and simple. I don't really cook that much, you know? I just sort of do very simple meals, but... Oh, you don't cook that much! Well, you fucking suck, don't you, faggot? <laughs> I know that, like... <laughs> oh, my God, literally all he does is just call me. <laughs> This is brilliant. <laughs> Honestly, I'm... I wasn't sure whether we could just watch this like this, but I'm actually enjoying watching it. So I assume, because I've watched this already once, but I'm assuming people in chat are enjoying it as well. Like just straight watching it because like, it's just funny how angry he gets. You don't cook chicken by just putting like all that grease in a pan and cooking it, right? Roast beef Cheeto. Where's the, oh, roast beef Cheeto sandwich. Okay, right. 10 months ago. Okay, let's watch this one. It was political. We'll be political in a minute. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. So, like, earlier in the video, this response, because obviously in my original video, I just kind of mocked him, right? But, like, he was he was saying I wasn't responding to his points, and now here he is, drunkenly shouting homophobic slurs at me. <laughs> okay, let's start this roast beef Cheeto sandwich off. First thing we need to do is make the garlic parmesan mayonnaise. Uh, what you want is a cup of mayo, a teaspoon of pepper, about a half a teaspoon of lemon Hell? juice, two tablespoons of parmesan, about a half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And what is this monstrosity? Of garlic powder. Give this a good mix and then let it chill out in a container in the fridge for at least one hour, maybe a little more. Okay, let's assemble our sandwich. First thing we want to do is add a layer of Gouda cheese. Uh, we want this because it's nice, it's creamy, it's delicious. Oh my god. Then add the roast beef. Fuck's wrong with Gouda? I uh, have some roast beef uh, from my local deli. What the hell's wrong with roast beef? You could certainly, you know, grab a fucking hunk of beef and cook it yourself, but and eh, being lazy this time. Yeah, we are, just to confirm, we are not in Flavortown right now, okay? We are very far away from Flavortown. What the hell is wrong with the Parmesan mayo and fucking roast beef and Gouda cheese? What is so disgusting about this? Then add the Cheetos for that nice little crunch. <laughs> <gasps> you can use flaming hot Cheetos. I He's just... actually putting Cheetos in the sandwich. He... Oh my god, you are aware that there are people that put potato chips in their fucking sandwich, you stupid, dumb British faggot! He's putting Cheetos in the sandwich. This is this is not a drill, okay? <laughs> Let's cook by everything except one thing, eggs. Yeah, He's putting Cheetos in the sandwich, this is not a drill. What? Yeah, I put him in there for a crunch. <laughs> um, this roast beef, I, I you know, I, I don't know what. This is me, by the way, future chat. I, I don't know, I don't know what. I think me, I don't know whether he's cut it pre-prepared or whether he's got it from like a store or something. But yeah, I know for the crunch, how hilarious is that? <laughs> yeah, he seemed really mad about that comment. Like it's just a meme, right? So what? Exactly. Use some regular crunchy Cheetos. Don't use the puff ones, though. <clears throat> Those are gross. I don't know anyone that likes them. Then atop the Cheetos. Add like, a nice little slice. If, if you want to, like, make this some disgusting sandwich that you put crisps in. Oh, sorry, chips, you call them in America. That's fine. But, like, why would you make a, a, a video about this? Uh, 
Cheetos are not chips nor crisps. They're not potato chips. Or potato crisps. Okay. I just wanted the crunch C H U D. <laughs> Thank you very much for the thought. <laughs> I love the fact that like he's he's blurring me out on facts, logic and reason on the Cheeto question. <laughs> Cheetos. And yeah, you're goddamn right, I do it. Again, make a better sandwich than me. Again. I can raise $180 within three minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. This is another point as well. We missed this from the video. So you can't see here, but this is my um, this is my March donation, and it's like $60 out of 200 with two days to go. And he keeps saying I'm trying to raise $180, but it's actually a $200 goal, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Splitting hairs. But he keeps going on about... Because obviously, you know, I think it was called the Griff Fund or something. I mean, this month I'm actually, um, you know... Um, trying to, to aim to get, actually purchase something that's going to help the stream out. So it's a bit different this month. Whereas before, I've kind of been quite open with the fact that it is literally not for anything specific. I've called it a griff fund as a bit of a meme, right? But anyway, he kind of goes off about the fact that I've got this on the screen and acts like, I don't know, it's really weird. Like he's really bothered about it and he's trying to point out how I can't make money here and this and that. Do you know what I mean? Did buy a pop pill on a windsock. Yeah, that's true. Um... But yeah, I just thought it was um, it was really funny that he um, kind of kept poking fun at that. Do you know what I mean? It's just a bit of a weird thing to go off about, right? Like it's part it's part of it's part of the thing. But anyway, I just thought that was quite a funny thing to point out because he's referencing it again. Why would you make a video and broadcast this to the world? Cheddar cheese. Because I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of food a teenager would make. Yeah, that's a lot. You can oh, find it. That'd be good. I... So anyway. Oh shit! I'm sorry. <laughs> he messed it up. <laughs> Needs to go back for my video. Find it again. I, I want to finish his criticism of my. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. This is the kind of food a teenager would make. Yeah, that's a lot of cheese. Then add some nice bacon to your sandwich because <coughs> everything is better with bacon. And then top with a little bit more roast beef and pop into a 400 degree oven for yeah, about five minutes or so. And through the magic of cooking show oh. editing, these sandwiches oh. are done. Oh, that looks grotesque. Oh my god, I did the same thing that I did on the video before. Oh my god, I wrote it exactly the same way. See, this is the real me coming through, okay? How funny is that though? I wrote it exactly the same way. Now, last thing we want to do. <laughs> What's grotesque about it? Melted cheese and Cheetos? Who cares? Remember that garlic parmesan mayo we made at the beginning of this son of a bitch? Take a uh, squeeze bottle and just squeeze a generous old amount uh, on there. It's really, this is really to taste, up to you. <laughs> oh, this is gross. And then, of course, just because you want a little refreshing It's nearly crunch, finished, okay. Some iceberg. <laughs> What? <laughs> the iceberg lands on top. What is going on? What a bit more crunch in there. This is all kinds of wrong. I think this is a crime against humanity. And that's it. <clears throat> Roast beef Cheeto sandwich. Done. Job done, everyone. We did it. <laughs> it just cuts off there. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done with that, right? I'm well, done with him. Oh, thank fucking God. I don't give a damn if I am or not. I'm out of here. All right. The cross section, yeah. What a piece of shit. I might bob up on, uh. You know what? I. See, so, yeah, this is obviously just him now. Well, he's got like 30 seconds to give his final thoughts on me. So let's see what he's got to say, okay? I do want to finish where I did with him, too. But, anyway. Uh, anyway, that is this one. I'll see everyone later. <laughs> and that's it. That's, that's, that's the end of the stream. <laughs> Gavin. Thanks a lot for following. Gavin. That's it.
the the stream is the stream just yeah. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh no, I can't do music over it because it might ruin it. If 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 this ruins it, I'll have to just clip it out of the video. Oh my goodness. Oh. Weaponized Funk, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Holy moly. Loudwithcrowder.com slash mug club. You won't be disappointed. Thank you so much. So who have we got? Vox Myth, High Level Ideas, Shabus. Uh Joe Duke, Kiara Husk, fantastic. Enjoy, enjoy your subs, everyone. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. Loudwithcrowder.com slash mug club. You won't be disappointed. Um, okay, what was I going to do? Um, wait a sec. Is there like a... Loudwithcrowder.com slash mug club. Wait, 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 wait. You won't be disappointed. Oh, we need like a longer one. Is there like a sad trombone, like a more, like a longer one? That doesn't really work, does it? Bow to me, child. I'm an investor. <laughs> Let's just go sad music, okay? Oh, I use I use this one before, but it is perfect. It's a shit. I might bob up on. Uh... of a man at the end of his rope all he had left was his cooking until a British streamer came along and destroyed his cooking in the marketplace of ideas Lord of Patriarchy has not been seen for 10 days he talked a bit talk about debating Chud Logic on stream however he has not surfaced on Twitter to send the DM to arrange this. This is an appeal to people in Lord of Patriarchy's area. We are deeply concerned for his safety. Please go and check he's okay. Thank you. So what do we think anyway, chat? <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you reckon to that? <laughs> Can't hold it together. What do you mean? <laughs> so anyway, look, there's some memers. There's some. We got some. Uh, some. Uh, some. Some chudites. I, I don't like calling you stuff like that, but there's some uh, chud, chud logic uh, troops in the uh, responses. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Got blown the fuck out again on stream by Chud Logic on his stream. We really need to DM on Twitter. <laughs> Bubble boy again. Oh my god. Oh. Look, the Grim Reaper's not happy with my performance here. Yeah. The, oh yeah. I'll call you investors because of the meme. That's funny. Ad hominems, changing the subject and spouting opinions like they're facts. What is this? Twenty fourteen. The British git is like every generic leftist sheep on the internet. The only thing that was left for him to do was correct your grammar like a 12-year-old from 2010. Are men assault at a high rate? I don't know, but it's wrong. What an absolute twat. <laughs> so yeah, some good comments there. Anyway, Lord of Patriarchy, if you're listening to this, this is a serious... This is a call-out, okay? I'm calling you out. Do you like to see angry? You said. You said that you would debate me or have a cook off or fight me. With social distancing being what it is, I feel it would be prudent to perhaps arrange a debate online. So please DM me. My DMs are open and I've even followed you so you can slip right in there. And we'll set something up. The ball 
is in your courts.